They run to the storms, not away from them. Mercy Chefs, one goal is to just go feed people. Crews in their mobile kitchens left Portsmouth this morning, headed to help once Laura passes through. 13 News Now reporter Angelo Vargas spoke with the head chef about the journey ahead. We got those right here. Mercy Chefs are standing by ready for Hurricane Laura to hit parts of Texas and Louisiana. It's going to be utterly devastating where it comes ashore. Mercy Chef's mobile kitchens are on their way to meet founder Chef Gary LeBlanc. But all the roads are completely packed right now with uh, people leaving town. He's in New Orleans, Louisiana. LeBlanc is no stranger to this city. Some of his family members live in Louisiana. He's also worked another major hurricane in this state before, Hurricane Katrina. So our very first Mercy Chef meals for Hurricane Laura are gonna be on the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. LeBlanc says two kitchens will be set up along the Gulf Coast and a third on standby, even through a COVID-19 pandemic. Mercy Chefs is prepared. All of our COVID protocols are in place. We're operating under all the CDC and, and FEMA guidelines. Ten staff members and 40 to 60 local volunteers will be ready to assist daily to help Hurricane Laura victims. We're stopping our other team from Oklahoma and Dallas and as soon as the storm track begins to pass and the winds subside, we start rolling in with the teams and the kitchens and the trucks full of food. Some of LeBlanc's loved ones have already evacuated Louisiana. He hopes the levees hold as the Mercy Chefs move forward. A storm in coastal Louisiana is, is always a dangerous thing. And a storm as powerful as this one is um, it, it, it's just going to be catastrophic. LeBlanc says his team has enough resources to feed 10 to 15,000 people a day as long as there is a need and funds are available. In Virginia Beach, Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now.